Konnichiwa, hope everyone's good. So it's time for an ADC update, so I'll just get straight into it. Start off with the watches. Got a TW Steel. Had for years. Dad got it on my 21st birthday. It's been lying around, so I'm going to start wearing it. And the Hewer, Octavia. So that's the watches. And if I'm going to be doing rough stuff, then I've got the Casio G Shock. So those are the watches. So pens, got two. Don't carry both at the same time. I'm just going to change them daily. So today I had the night call NTP 21. Awesome pen. So tomorrow I'm going to have the Maxpedition Spicata in stainless steel, which is one of my favourite pens of all time. Heavy and loads of quality and really comfortable at writing. So that's the pens. Keychain hasn't changed at all. Got the uh, Olight I one or two EOS Victorinox Classic Uncle Bill Slither Grippers and the whistle no brand name came from China very loud made out of titanium double barreled won't blow it and that UFO key thing the tech suspension pocket clip and the stretched out a split ring so I'll replace that looks like it's been trapped in something and it's bent usually they look like this one but it's just straight Actually, no, that bend looks like it was in the middle. Anyway, that's the keys. Split ring I'll have to replace. So I'm going to be giving the Higo no Kami's a rest. Found the case trapper, so I'm going to be using this for a short while. And that's it. Red jigged bone. Carbon steel blades can't go wrong. Got a bandana as always, and a hank. Got a Maxpedition TCP filled with coins in a Maxpedition wallet filled with licenses and bank stuff and IDs. In other small items I've already shown in the last video so I won't bother getting into them so that is my on body carry I'll get on to the bag now so as far as the bag goes I found my Maxpedition fat boy I think I'm going to be keeping this one because it's actually perfect for one of the hobbies that I'm trying to get back into. So, there's not a lot in it. It's got a water bottle. Got some chapstick. A ferro rod. Lighter. On a bungee, multi tool, and 
and get it out. Spare battery for something. And hook on birds. And then here I've also got a dry bag because the bag's not waterproof. One of my grill cameras. Been wanting this one for years. Could never afford it. Sought for a good price, so I got it. It's in mint condition. So I'm trying to get back into wildlife photography. This is actually my first digital SLR. It's not really an SLR, it's a bridge camera, but for years I've been using 35mm real SLR. But it's nearly impossible to, at least in my area, it's very difficult to find somebody who does decent photographs from negatives now. So I've pretty much been forced to go digital. Like I say, this is one of my grill cameras. It's the Sony DSC-HX400V. And I'm really happy with it. It's got a little flippy out screen. 24 megapixels and it shoots in a 4K resolution as well. It's an awesome camera, 35mm equivalent, which I believe to be true. It's one of the super zooms. Got manual and autofocus. And I'm just starting to try to get back into it, so I'm not aiming too high at the minute. Just small birds and stuff. Or easy to find birds, like ducks and stuff in the garden. For some reason that doesn't want to show much more. I have to go that way. So, so far, like I say, I'm over the moon with this camera. It's awesome. It's even got a little sensor right there. So it automatically switches to the viewfinder every time you take your eye away from it. And a hot shoe mount. It actually takes pretty good video as well. It's already an 8-year-old camera. So it's 1080p. But the video quality is really nice. So that's a new camera, old hobby I'm trying to get back into. And that's pretty much all I'm doing now. Between now and finding a job. So that's it, thanks for watching.